basically start with the last section of this topic of integration, and that is double and triple integrals. So these are integrals that look like this. Okay, so you have a function that is in terms of X and Y, and you have to integrate this. Now, the way we do it is we'll integrate normally, uh, like we have a definite integral. You start by integrating the one that is on the inside first. So I will integrate f of x, y with respect to x first because that's the one that's on the inside. Substitute the limits and then whatever I get, I will integrate again with respect to y. So when I'm integrating with respect to x, y is a constant. And when I'm integrating with respect to x, when I'm integrating with respect to y, x is a constant. Okay, so um, these double integrals, we use them when we want to calculate areas under graphs, moments of inertia, and um, a lot of other things which I think you guys in engineering will use a lot more than I will ever use it. So our first example, One, this is the integral one to three, the integral from two to five, and this is our function f of x, y, which is two x minus three y, and then we have dx dy. So you can see dx is on the inside, so we will integrate with respect to x first, substitute the limits, get an answer, and then uh, integrate again with respect to y and then substitute our limits. So this is the integral from 1 to 3 and here we integrate this part. This is 2x squared over 2 minus 3xy and we're going to substitute 2, 5 and then our answer we will integrate with respect to y. So this is the integral from one to three, and we just have x squared minus three x y, again from two to five dy. This is the integral one to three. Then now we substitute, this is five, squared minus 3 times 5 times y minus 2 squared minus 3 times 2 times y. Okay, then our answer we will uh, integrate with respect to y. So 5 squared is 25, 25 minus 4 is 21, this is the integral of 21 from 1 to 3. Quickly go back, quickly go back, please. And then uh, this one minus 3 times 5 is minus 15y. And here we have negative, negative. That will be positive 6y. So we have 15 minus 6y, which is 9. Yeah, negative nine. 
and then we integrate with respect to y. So this is 21y minus 9y squared over 2, and then we substitute our limits. So this is 21 times 3 minus 9 times 3 squared divided by 2 minus 21 times 1, which is just 21 minus 9 times 1 squared, which is 1 divided by 2. So that you can work it out on your calculator. And the answer should be equal to 6. We have the integral from 0 to 4 and 1 to 2, 3x squared minus 2 dx dy. So remember, we want this integral on the inside first. This is equal to um, x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2x. And then we will substitute our limits 1 and 2. Then this is equal to 2 to the power of 3 these brackets here, 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power, sorry, 2 times 1 minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 times 1. Okay, so you can work that out. This is 8 minus 2, which is 6 minus 1, which is 7 plus 1 Wait, 8 minus 2 is 6, 6 minus 1 is, uh, set, is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. Miss? Yeah? Isn't like the second 2 supposed to be minus 2 times 2? Oh yeah, this 2 here. Okay, so this is 8 minus 4, which is 4 minus 1. It's 3 plus 2, which is 5. Okay, so after we integrate this part over here, our answer is 5. Then we now have 0 to 4, and we integrate 5 with respect to y. So this is just... 5y from 0 to 4, which is 20 minus 0, which is 20. Three, we have the integral from 1 to 3, uh, 0 to 2, and 2x squared y dx dy. Okay, so again, we integrate on the inside first. So we want this integral from 0 to 2 of 2x squared y dx. So that means y is a constant. So this is 2x to the power of 3 over 3 times y, and then substitute 0 and 2. Okay, doing that, we have 2 over 3 uh, times 2 to the power of 3 times y minus 
uh, this term will just be zero if x is zero. So you have two times eight, which is 16, 16 divided by three times y. This is 16 over three y. Then this term you will integrate with respect to y with the limits one and two. So the integral one to three of 16 over three y dy, this is 16 over 3, y squared over 2, and our limits are 1 and 3. So this will be 8 over 3, and then we have 3 squared minus 1 squared, which is just 1. So this is 9 minus 1, which is 8. So we should have 64 over 3 as our final answer. Okay, so keep in mind, you start with the integral on the inside, and then you work your way outside. Okay, so here again, we start on the inside. So first we will integrate with respect to theta. So we want the integral from zero to pi of two plus sine two theta d theta. This is two theta plus the integral of sine two theta is minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 and then our limits are 0 to pi. Okay, doing that we have, uh, we can now substitute, so we have 2 pi, don't need these brackets here, we have 2 pi minus cos of 4 pi divided by 2 minus if theta is 0 then this is 0 and then I have minus negative uh, cos of 0 over 2 so this becomes plus cos of 0 divided by 2. Okay, this this is two pi. Cos of four pi is the same as cos of two pi, which is one. So I have minus a half yeah, cos of four pi. This is minus a half. And then cos of zero is one, so I have plus a half. So this is equal to two pi. Okay, then this is what I'm going to integrate with respect to r. So the integral from one to four of two pi dr. This is equal to 2 pi r, then from 1 to 4. Then we can just substitute. This is 2 pi times 4 plus 2 pi times 1 
So we have 8 pi, what did I say plus here? So we can just say this is 8 pi minus 2 pi, which is 6 pi. Triple integrals work in exactly the same way. We have triple integrals. These work in exactly the same way. So again, you start on the inside and work your way out. So you will have something like this. We have Z1, Z2, Y1, Y2, x1, x2, and here you have a function that is in terms of x, y, and z, and you're integrating respect to x, respect to y, and then with respect to z. So you have to take note of the order that is given there because the question is not always going to be in that exact order. So uh, sometimes we can switch them, so make sure you integrate appropriately. So look at some examples here. We have the integral from 1 to 2, the integral from minus 1 to 3, the integral from 0 to 2, and we're integrating this function x minus 3y plus z, then dx, dy, and then dz. So when I'm integrating with respect to x, y, and z are constants, and we know how to work, or how to integrate constants. So the first one I'm looking for, the integral from 0 to 2. This is with respect to x. This is x squared over 2 minus 3 xy plus xz and the integral is from 0 to 2. Okay, then we just substitute our limits. This is 2 to the power of 2 over 2 minus 3 times 2 times y plus 2 times z. And then when I substitute zero here, everything will just be zero, so I can say minus zero. So two squared divided by two, two squared divided by two is two minus six y plus two z. So that is what I'm going to integrate with respect to y now, as that's the second one in the order. So I'm integrating from minus one to three, and I integrate the answer from the previous one, which was two minus six y plus two z. And this one we integrate with respect to y. So that's what we have over here. The previous page number. No forward, no, no forward. Okay. 
Okay, so this one we again just integrate. We're integrating with respect to y, so z is a constant. So here we have the integral of 2, which is 2y, then minus 6y squared over 2 plus 2yz, and our limits minus 1 to 3. Then we substitute the limits. This is uh, 2 times 3. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I have 3 times 3 squared. Then 2 times 3 times z. And then minus, substituting the lower limit, 2 times minus 1 minus 3 times minus 1 squared plus 2 times minus 1 times z. Okay, this is 6 minus 27, which is minus 21. Okay, then 2y, 3y squared, 2y z, okay. Okay, so here we say this is minus 21, and uh, here we will have negative 2 minus uh, 3. Negative 2 minus 3 is minus 5. So we have negative 21 plus negative, negative plus 5. Here, what do I have? Minus 24. Is that right? Let me just write everything. So this 6 minus 27 is minus 21. Then plus... 6z, that's the first part. And then I'm going to subtract um, this part here. This is minus, somebody's saying something, but I can't hear what you're saying. Okay. Otherwise, okay. Right, then we have this one. We have negative 2 minus 3, which is minus 5. And then here we have negative 2 times z, which is minus 2z. Okay, so I hope that's right. This, this part is just algebra. Okay, so we have negative 21 minus negative uh, 5. This should give us a negative 16. Negative 16. This is negative 16, and then we have 6z minus negative 2z. That should give us 8z. Okay, so that is the second integral. Now we work on the last one. So the last one, we are integrating from 1 to 2. Yeah? It is supposed to be 2. Uh, we can go back. Uh, 
So two instead of twenty one. What do you mean two instead of twenty one? I think you, you said uh, th three to the power of three is not three squared, which is nine plus uh, nine nine times three. Where are you getting nine from? Oh, never never mind. Me. Yeah. Okay, so we're integrating from one to two. And then we have minus 16 plus 8z, and this time with respect to z. So this is equal to a negative 16z plus 8z squared divided by 2, which is just 4z squared. And then we substitute our limits from 1 to 2. So Substituting the limits, we have negative 16 times 2 plus 4 times 2 squared. And then we will subtract negative 16 times 1 plus 4 times 1 squared, which is just 4. Oh, okay, this you can just type in on your calculator the way it is. So these brackets here are not even needed. Okay, so this is negative 32 uh, plus, this is 4 times 4 is 16. So negative 32 plus uh, 16 is negative 16. So this First part is negative 16. And then here inside the brackets, I have negative 16 plus 4, which is negative 12. And then negative of negative 12 is positive 12. So I have negative 16 plus 12, which is negative 4. Okay, and then that is your integral. So remember, start from the inside, take note of the order. It's not always the case that it's dx, dy, dz. The question may have them switched in or written in whatever order they are given, but the way you integrate them is you start from the inside and work your way out. And then just be careful with the substitutions so you don't make uh, simple mistakes. Number two, we have the integral from one to three, the integral from zero to two, the integral from zero to one, we have two a squared minus b squared plus three c squared, and we have dA, dB, and then dc. So first we're integrating from zero to one, two a squared minus b squared plus three c squared. And this is with respect to a, that means b and c are constants. So we have two a cubed over three minus a b squared plus three a c squared and then we evaluate this from 0 to 1. OK, just substitute. This is 2 over 3 times 1 to the power of um, 3, which is 1. Then minus b squared plus 3 uh, c squared. And then when a is 0, See that this is zero, that is zero, that is zero. So I can just say minus zero, which gives me this. Then this one is what I'm going to integrate with respect to B now. So I'm integrating from zero to two, and I'm integrating two over three minus B squared plus three C squared, this time with respect to B. So we do that, 
uh, we have 2 over 3 times B minus B cubed over 3 plus 3B C squared and we evaluate from 0 to 2. Okay, so substitute uh, B is equal to 2 there. So I have 2 over 3 times 2 minus 2 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 3 times 2 C squared. And then when B is 0, everything here is 0. So I just need to simplify this. So I have 4 over 3 minus 8 over 3. That's minus 4 over 3. And then 2 times 3 is 6. So I have plus 6C squared. Okay, so minus 4 over 3 plus 6c squared, and then we integrate again. Okay, so this is the integral. I would say our limits are 1 to 3. Then we have minus 4 over 3 uh, plus 6c squared dc. Okay, so this is minus 4 over 3 times c. And then we will have 6c cubed divided by 3, which is 2c cubed from 1 to 3. Okay, then substituting, we have minus 4 over 3 times 3 plus uh, 2 times 3 to the power of 3 minus 4 minus negative 4 over 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1. And I don't even need to write this one here. So this is minus 4. Just write this is minus 4. Um, 27 times 2 is 54. And then negative, negative, that gives us positive 4 over 3. And then negative of this is minus 2. Okay, negative 4 plus 54 is 50. 50 minus 2 is 48, and then this is 1.333, so on. So I have 48 plus 1.333, that's 49.333. Write it to three decimal places. Or the exact value is 148 over 3. Integral from one to two, integral from two to three, integral from zero to one, eight x y z. So this time we have dz dx 
and dy. But the way we integrate is the same. Just this time we start with z, then x, and then y. So our first integral will be from 0 to 1. We integrate x, y, z with respect to z. This is 8xyz squared divided by 2. So we have 4xyz squared and our limits 0 to 1. Okay, then you substitute. This is 4xy times 1 squared, which is just 1. You don't even need to write it. So this is just 4xy. And then when z is 0, everything there is 0. So this is uh, the definite integral of that. Then we move on to the next one, which is x. So I'm integrating from 2 to 3. And I put 4xy. Then this is with respect to x. So what I will get is 4x squared divided by 2. So this is 2x squared y. And then I evaluate this from 2 to 3. And you just substitute. This is 2, 3 squared times y minus 2, 2 squared times y. This is 9 times 2, which is 18y. And this is 8. So this gives us 10y. And now the last integral with respect to y, which is the integral from 1 to 2, 10y dy. This is 10y squared divided by 2, which is 5y squared from 1 to 2. And substitute, this is 5 times 2 squared minus 5 times 1 squared, which is just 5 times 1. Uh, 4 times 5 is 20. Minus 5, and this is equal to 15. Okay, so again here, um, you just need to take note of the order of the integrals and then just integrate. And then whatever integral techniques you have to use to integrate that, we have done it already. So you should be able to integrate any function that we give you over there. That was number three. Number four, integral from one to two, uh, sorry, from zero to two. Then the integral from minus one to two. Then the integral from one to three. We have x plus y squared plus z cubed dx dy and then dz. So first degree from 1 to 3, x plus y squared, z to the power of 3, dx. This is x squared over 2 plus x y squared plus x z to the power of 3 from 1 to 3. This is 3 squared over 2 plus 3 y squared plus 3 z to the power of 3. Then minus half plus y squared plus z to the power of 3. OK, 
Okay, so work that one out. We have nine over two minus one over two, that's eight over two, which is four. Then three y squared plus minus y squared is two y squared. Then three z cubed minus z cubed. This is two z cubed. Then we integrate from minus one to two. We have four plus two y squared plus two z to the power of three dy. This is the integral. This is four y plus two y cubed over three plus two y z to the power of three and we evaluate this from minus one to two. Okay, then just a matter of substituting this is four times two plus two times two to the power of three divided by three, two times two times z to the power of three minus four times minus one. plus two times minus one to the power of three divided by three plus two times minus one times z to the power of three. Ooh, okay, so this is eight and this is 16 over three. This is positive four and this will be positive 2 over 3. So you add all those together. Okay, I'm getting 18. And then this is 4z to the power of 3 minus negative 2z to the power of 3. So that will be 6z to the power of 3. And now finally we integrate with respect to z. So we integrate from 0 to 2 and 18 plus 6z cubed dz. This is 18z plus um, 6z to the power of 4 divided by 4. 6 over 4 is 3 over 2, so I have 3z to the power of 4 over 2, and then my limits 0 to 2. This is equal to 18 times 2, that's 3 over 2, and then 2 to the power of 4. So again, this you can just do on your calculator, but this is 36, uh, 16 divided by 2 is 8. So this is 36 plus What did I say? This is 16 divided by 2, which is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So I have 24 plus 16. That is 14. Is that right? I don't know. 
just check that. I'm getting 40 here. This is 36, here we see it, 16 plus 24, okay, yeah, now that makes sense. Okay, then the answer is 60. Okay, or it's much easier, just do it on your calculator. Um, let's see. This one's number four. And number five, we have the integral from zero to pi, from zero to pi, from zero to pi of x, y, sine z, and this is dx, dy, then dz. So our first integral from 0 to pi of x, y, sine z. This is with respect to x. This is x squared over 2. Yeah. This? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, will there be a situation where they're going to ask us to differentiate an equation by using by part, like a triple integral, but using by parts? Why not? You should still be able to do right. it because we did how to integrate by parts. Okay, so uh, again, Keep in mind what your constant is and what your in what your variable is. So you might need to differentiate x by parts, but then y is just a polynomial and then z like that. But again, we've done all those techniques, so you should be able to do it. OK, so this is x squared y then times y sine z and then our limits 0 to pi so this is equal to pi squared over 2 and i have y sine z and then when x is zero everything there is zero so this is the final answer then i integrate again from zero to pi um i'm integrating pi squared over 2y sine z this time with respect to y and this is equal to pi squared over 2 times y squared over 2, then sine z with my limits 0 to pi. OK, just substitute. This is pi squared over 2 times pi squared over 2 and then we have a sine z and then when y is zero everything there is zero so this we can just write as pi to the power of four over four sine z then the last integral again zero to pi we have pi over 4 over 4 sine z dz. This is 
pi over four over four, and then the integral of sine z is minus cos z. Then we evaluate this from zero to pi. So this is minus pi to the power four over four times the cos of pi, and then minus minus pi over four cos of zero. Okay, cos of pi is minus one. So this will be negative, negative. So we get pi over four, now pi to the power four divided by four and cos of zero is one. So what I have is pi to the power of four over four and this is one. So I have minus, oops, sorry, this is a pi over four to the power of four. Okay, so negative, negative will give me positive. So I have plus pi to the power of four over four, which is pi to the power of four uh, divided by two. So the final answer is pi to the power of four divided by two. Okay, this one is a work problem, but what number was that? This was number five, so this is number six. But again, um, we do the mathematics in the same way. So we're told that the second moment of area, and again, you guys doing engineering, this is your area, I suppose. The second moment of area I of uh, five centimeter by three centimeter rectangle about an axis through one corner. perpendicular to the plane is given by I is equal to, this one is a double integral, but it's a word problem nonetheless. So this is x plus y squared dy dx. And then the question just says evaluate i. So even if you don't know what a second moment is, the question is just telling you to evaluate this. So you don't have to stress, ah, oh, in the test, I don't know what a second moment of inertia is. Just work out the integral. So first we start with 0 to 3 x squared plus y squared and we are integrating with respect to y. So this is x squared y plus y to the power of 3 over 3. Then we substitute 0 to 3. This gives us um, x squared times 3 plus 
3 to the power of 3 divided by 3. And then when y is 0, everything here is 0. So we have um, 3x squared. And then 3 to the power of 3 divided by 2 is 9. Divided by 3 is 9. So we have plus 9. And then again, you integrate from 0 to 5. Then we have 3x squared plus 9dx. This is 3. It's just x to the power of 3. Plus 9x. Then we evaluate from 0 to 5. So we have 5 cubed plus 9 times 5. And then when x is 0, this whole thing is 0. So this is 125 plus 45. I think that is 170. OK. And that's what we have. OK, so again, whether you know what a second moment is, just do the mathematics and then answer the question with a word problem. I see here the units they have put is centimeters to the power of four. But again, oof, moments, those are you guys' area. Anyway, so that brings us to the end of integration finally. So we've done quite a number of techniques. So make sure uh, by Friday you have mastered all of them. And when you're given any question to integrate, you will be able to do that. So remember, there are several ways of some some problems have several ways that you can integrate them. Always try and pick the easiest method uh, of integrating something. Then tomorrow we will start with matrices.